Hi, welcome to this video in which we're going to look at Capsule. It's going to be a whistle stop tour. So this is going to be really useful if you are looking into signing up to Capsule, if you're looking at CRMs um, for the first time, or if you have Capsule and you want to have a little recap on what it can do for you. So I hope you find the video useful. And we are also going to touch on some of the new features that have come out in Capsule. So I hope you find them useful too. So I'm going to share my screen with you now. So here we have the dashboard of Capsule. So on the left hand side, we can see that it's been integrated with my Outlook calendar, uh, my demonstration version. And we can see that there's a list of tasks. We can add tasks here. And if there are any tasks due or, uh, today, then that would appear at the bottom of this screen. We can also see that we can have a look at the recently viewed contacts. We can have a look at the projects. There's 16 open projects. So that's 16 pieces of work that's been delivered. None are closing this week, four are overdue. And we can actually click through there and see which of the four are overdue. And so we can um, have a look and see what the delays are. We've got the sales pipeline there. We've got £51,000, £56.94 pence on eight opportunities. None are due to close this week and all eight of those are stale, which is obviously really bad news. Again, we can click through and see which of those ones are stale. We've also got some overdue ones so we can have a look and fix those and see what's going on, move them along. We can also see what activities have happened this week and that um, activities this week, tasks have been completed, emails that have been sent. So this has been a quiet week so far, uh, but this would obviously look more, bit much busier, be some nice numbers in there on your own system. So, and we can move all of that around if we want to see the pipeline first, we can just literally pick that up and drop it so that we see it first. We can also see recent activity. So we might look on there and see um, that there was a walking meeting with some gobbledygook there. We can see that we have uploaded an image, which we can do from an app, um, the Capsule app. And we can see that, um, that there's some tasks completed and some, some emails have been sent. So this is a scrolling list of activity. Now, a new feature on Capsule is comments. And we can actually make comments on uh, bits and pieces on different activities, which you'll have a look at. And you can also mention other people. So you can have conversations, if you like, with other users from within the system. And here you can see a list of comments that relate to you. So it's a good way of keeping on top of the comments. So if we just move back our eyes back up to the top here, we've got some icons. So we've got the dashboard. We've got people in organizations, so that's your data bank, that's where everybody sits. So that's the, the, the one of the main things that people want to have is one location where all of their contacts are. Then we have calendar and tasks. Then we have sales pipeline, we have projects, we have reports, and we have workflow automations. So if we just pop back to people and organizations, here we have the ability to dice and slice we can see everybody that's in the system. And on the right-hand side, we can see we've got some tags. So we can also dice, slice and dice and see just our prospects, for example. So we can drill down. And then what we can do is we can say, right, I would like to only see the people that are tagged as prospect. So one of the things that we can do here, and this is a, a, a really good, um, tip is that we can actually search on the attributes of an organization. So when you're thinking about your ideal client, your ideal client avatar, the organization that that ideal client works at, because of course it's the person that has the, the problem, it's the person that has the pain that you're solving, then we can actually filter our lists in Capsule based on the properties of the associated organization. So let's go to active clients. Uh, duh, 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 let's go to potential clients. So we have three people that work at organizations that are tagged as the organization is tagged as a potential client. And we can do various things with these. We could um, choose them. We could add a tag to them. We could add a note so that we can use it in all sorts of different ways. But we don't have to stop at just the tag. All of the uh, 
custom fields that have been added can be used to filter. And we can save this list. So the list doesn't disappear. We save the parameters of the list and then the uh, content of the list, if you like, the list of people in it are dynamically populated each time we click on that save list. We also have the ability to search on enrichment. So enrichment is capsule going out, gathering information about organizations that is out there, readily available to the public, and Capsule give us a window into that. It doesn't come into Capsule, but we can use these enrichment tags to choose what we want to um, search on in our own uh, CRM. So we would, might have 50 organizations in our CRM. We might not have very much information on those organizations, but Capsule goes out to the universe, finds relevant information, and we can then search on that, even though that data is not in our CRM. So let's do, um, let's search on revenue and we can see that we've um, got an organization pop up there so let's choose 10 million to 50 million and we don't have any organizations that are on our system for that but let's go to 500 we don't have that either so that's quite a big one so we can also search on other enrichment um, information so we could tech tags, traffic, estimate number of employees, sub-industry. There's all sorts of things that we can search on there. So that's organization enrichment, and that is a new feature. If I just go to an organization, let's go to Microsoft, then this is the Microsoft record. This is, uh, I've tagged them as an active supplier. You can see on here that you've got this enrichment area, and you can view more. So it gives us all the information about Microsoft, obviously a very well-known company, but when you think that you could do this for smaller charities, you could do this for smaller organizations to really help you connect with the right people, then it's, it's really useful. We also have the ability now, which is another new feature, to have personal um, contact enrichments. So if I go to Sarah Bird at Microsoft, then we've got enrich this contact with dozens of new fields. So enrich contact. So we've got the ability to see more. So we can see that Sarah is based in New York. Um, she's in the product area. She's a manager. And we've got, even got her email address. So this is data that's in the public space. So Capsule, go out and find it. And other CRMs do the same. So really useful, really, really useful. So we might look at an individual record and let's look at Citrus Lemon as the organization. And then we've got tasks on the right hand side. We've got some comments there, which uh, this is this new feature, add comments. And then we've got some information about Lucy Lemon and we can click through to Lucy and we can see information about Lucy. So Lucy has been an active client or is an active client for service B and service C. We were talking to her about uh, service A. So that's interesting that we were talking to her about A, but she chose B and C. And we can just click here and add a comment if we want to. So, and we can choose other people on here if we want to as well to make the comment too. So let's just go hello, which isn't very interesting, but so I'll press on send there. So that comment is now there and the comment would be on the dashboard at the front as well. So we can communicate with other users on the system. So when we're looking at this contact, we can see that the last contact was 10 days ago. There are two open projects which we can click through to here. There's a pipeline value of 20,280 and there's been 10,000 one over time. So this is a new area here. We can see how much, how many opportunities have converted in time. So then we might want to go through to the opportunities and we can see that there are uh, three opportunities for citrus lemon, two at proposal stage, one has already been one, which is at 10,000. But if we wanted to look at the pipeline as a whole, which is so important as a business owner, then we can go to the dashboard and we can see the entire um, pipeline. We can also see the pipeline as a list of columns, and we can also see the pipeline as a list if we wanted to. So when we have an opportunity, we uh, go through the process, the sales process, we might have some 
tracks. We might have an initial inquiry, sales process, milestone one, milestone two, milestone three. And if we have the growth plan or the team's plan, then we can actually have some automations there. So we can add some automations on to the actual opportunity to encourage it to go along. And we can even send out emails automatically. So we would get to the end of the opportunity and we would say that it's been won and we would then add a linked project. So we are now managing what we deliver and said we would deliver in the opportunity. And this linked project has been created. It's on the project board and you can have multiple project boards if you want to as well. If you want to look at all of the work that you've got going on, then you can see here that we've got some um, different opportunities. We can change the way that we see it. If we want to, we can change what we see here and we can change how we sort it, but we can look at the different statuses. We can look at the different boards. So we've got delivery of service A and B, we've got the partner program and the different stages even. So we might have a delivery process, kickoff meeting, design version one, final version delivered to client. And we can also have tags in this area as well if we want to. So that is a whistle-stop tour of the projects area, but let's just click into a, a single project. You can see that we've got to kick off meeting to final version, deliver to clients, and we just follow up to delivery and we can have tracks that are added there as well if we want to. And again, we can automate those things. So do pop over. I've got a video on automation because there's, there's quite a lot to cover in it. And uh, do let me know if you have any questions on that. But we also have reports now. There's a whole bunch of really nice reports, which is, uh, again, a new feature, an enriched and an enhanced feature within Capsule. So I'm just going to have a look and see that I've um, covered the new features. So we've done organization enrichment, contact enrichment, comments and mentions, finding people based on the attributes of an organization, importing into pipeline is the other one. We can now import directly into the pipeline, which is very exciting and saves a lot of time. We click on add, we go to import, and we choose import into your sales pipeline. So if uh, you are new to Capsule and you have a bunch of opportunities that you want to bring in, then you can import them directly into opportunities. And I've done another video on that to, to, to show you how to do that. So go and, go and check that one out. <clears throat> Email templates are the other one I wanted to cover. <coughs> Excuse me. We can go to account settings, email templates, and we have email templates in people and organizations, <coughs> in opportunities, and in projects. If we go to this one in projects, then what we can see is we have a custom field here. So the kickoff session date. So we can really make the templates Redynamic, we can put custom field information into the templates so that the template is created for us. And it's really, really useful. It saves so much time. Anything that you find that you're typing more than once or twice, pop it in as a template. If the information has not been added to that custom field, then the template will not uh, go, it won't go anywhere. And that's really useful for automations because we can use those templated emails in automations. And we don't just suddenly get an email go out that's not fully complete. Capture will put a stop on it and say, no, we can't do that uh, because um, the data isn't there. Okay. So that's uh, really useful. Now, if we wanted to add a new template, but we weren't sure what to say, then we can use the AI content assistant and we can type in something there and actually generate some content. And it's really good, actually. It comes up with some really nice stuff. And then you can pop that into your email template, make any changes that you need. And of course, just to uh, reiterate, you do need to integrate your Outlook or your Gmail or your other email delivery system to Capsule and add, add your signature in. Now, when you do that, Capsule will send an email out and it will look for all intents and purposes as so it's come from your own um, system, your signature will be there. And when the person replies, it will come back into your inbox. So that's uh, really good and really useful stuff. You can also store the entire thread of conversation. And you, to do that, you go to your Outlook and you go to the email, you click on send to capsule, and then you can store the conversation either on the data bank or on the person or on, on the opportunity or on 
the project. So there uh, have been some new reports come out as well. So do check out your report area. Capture are working on that area a lot and do lots of enhancements. Do pop over and have a look at that. But uh, thank you for watching and do let me know if you have any questions. I'm here to help you. You can contact me on julia.blake at blakeconsultants.co.uk. Thank you.